So not every clip I make is going to be overly lengthy or dramatic. This one, concise, high yield information from step one NBME exams, not gonna be a lengthy clip. We have this 34 year old woman from Ghana, it's Africa. She's got this six month history of a lesion on her foot. Vitals are normal, she's a heavy smoker and we have a photograph of the lesion. I'm just gonna work backwards to these answer choices. Choice F, thromboangiitis obliterans, wrong fucking answer. This is also known as Boerger disease, B-U-E-R-G-E-R -E disease. Not to be confused with Berger disease without the U, which is IgA nephropathy, completely unrelated. Thromboangiitis obliterans, classically digital gangrene, not just of the toes, but also the fingers in middle-aged men who are heavy smokers. It's a notable diagnosis because it contrasts with gangrene we typically see in hospitalized patients, which uh, is diabetes, okay? So di diabetics, peripheral neuropathy, they can't feel their feet, they are susceptible to trauma of their feet, and then once they have that trauma, they can't heal the area as well because of non-enzymatic like oscillation of the vascular endothelium, leading to defective diapodesis of leukocytes into the interstitium, so they're prone to gangrene, okay? So thromboangiitis obliterans, they could give you a 50-year-old male, he's not a diabetic, and He's a heavy smoker and he has gangrene of the fingers, and the answer is just smoking cessation. Choice E, lentigo malignant melanoma. Wrong answer. It's a tough distractor. I have seen it as one correct answer on an NBME form, but it's it's rare. Uh, you can have atypical melanocytes in the basal layer. They start spreading laterally. We can call that a Hutchinson freckle or Hutchinson melanotic freckle. It is actually a type of melanoma. Then once it and, and it's only called lentigo malignia. Even though it's already a melanoma, we just call it lentigo malignia. Then when it invades, we call it, by the longer phrase, lentigo malignia melanoma. It's weird because even when it hasn't invaded, it's still a melanoma despite the shorter name, okay? Choice D, glomus tumor, wrong answer. This is an interesting distractor, but I have seen this as a correct answer as well. A glomus body is a modified smooth muscle cell in the nail beds that help regulate temperature sensation. So in colder temperatures, glomus bodies help induce vasoconstriction of the distal vessels. Okay, so a gloma, you might get a glomus tumor and they want you to know that this is of modified smooth muscle cells that regulate temperature sensation, okay? It's a rare diagnosis and if it ever shows up, uh, you'll be able to easily eliminate the other ones, okay? Choice C, ephylis. This is just the medical phrase or the medical term for freckle, okay? Ephylides is plural. You're like, what the fuck? I know. You learn something new every day, right? So an ephylis, that's just a term for a freckle, uh, but the wrong answer here. So, but in freckle, we are going to have normal melanocyte number, increased melanin production, and they darken with sunlight. In contrast to regular lentigo or lentigenes, plural, we have increased melanocyte number, uh, normal melanocyte, uh, sorry, increased melanocyte number, normal melanin production, okay? So it contrasts with ephylis that way. Uh, but lentigenes or lentigo, classically on the zygoma, uh, those are age spots, all right? And they don't darken with sunlight. A blue nevus, also known as a Mongolian spot, is frequently mistaken for child abuse, increased, inc uh, more prevalent in Asian populations, uh, sometimes on the back, uh, but it's a birthmark, okay? And the, the melanosomes have failed migration to the basal layer. They can get trapped in the dermis, and you can have a birthmark called the blue nevus that can be mistaken for child abuse, okay? But they like this uh, as a distractor, uh, especially on family medicine material. Choice A, acrolentigenous melanoma is the correct answer. This is a melanoma of the palms or soles, sometimes of the nail beds, more frequently seen in African-American and Asian populations, less frequent in Caucasians. And that's literally it, okay? So it might sound obvious that, okay, you could in theory get a melanoma of the palms and soles, despite the fact that they are not frequently exposed to the sun. But the U.S. simile wants you to know this term. They want you to know it's referred to as acrolentigenous melanoma. So concise clip. I'm going to make more if you liked this. Subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.